Hi everyone, it's Tamara Harper, Smallwood Studios. Today I'm going to show you the chain stitch. Now there are three different ways that I do the chain stitch. I'm going to show you here. Once you've got your floss on the needle and knotted on the back, you come up and hold it over to the left and go back in the same spot that you came up. Hold that loop with your thumb and come up wherever you want the chain link to end. And then you can tighten it after that. And again, hold it over to the left, go back in where you started, and then pull it through. So each time you're going back in the same spot, holding the loop and coming up. I'll do this one more time. And whenever you want the chain to end, you're just going to come up and go up and over and just tack it down that, that last uh, chain link. Now, if you want to skip a little step, um, you can put your needle in and out in one step and kind of wrap the floss around and you can kind of use your left thumb to um, hold it down as you're pulling it through. So again, that's in and out, wrap it around and pull it through. Hold it over to the left, in and out, wrap it around and pull it through. I'm using my left hand to kind of push up behind right here. I'm using my left hand to push up the needle um, to give myself a little help and then tack it down. The third way to do chain stitch is uh, technically a reverse chain stitch. Instead of tacking it down at the end, you're going to start with that uh, stitch as an anchor. So create that and then do the loop second. So you hold it over to the left again, you slip the needle under that anchor uh, point, and then go back in there. So you're doing the loops after and slipping it under each time. Um, so a lot of people prefer the reverse stitch if you're creating um, something like lettering or outlining, something like that. Um, just. I'm noticing doing it myself that the reverse chain stitch is a little bit tighter, a little bit smaller, um, and may look a little bit neater than the traditional way of doing a chain stitch. So there you have it. Um, and at the end of the reverse chain stitch, there's no need to tack it down because you have already done that at the beginning. So there you go.